Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I really just wanted to get kind of a video out because my, my Nagino Asakara review is nowhere near finished, so I just wanted to put something out that I've kind of had on the back of my mind for a little while. I just haven't really, I haven't really thought of the best way to do it, um, but I figured maybe just a quick, casual, kind of ad-libbed type video um, would be the best, so probably no fancy editing or anything like that. I mean, not that I'm a master or anything, but, uh, yeah. It, just quick talking. Anyway, this is, uh, some anime soundtracks that I think are tight AF. <laughs> not in any particular order or anything. I'm just gonna, you know, I have a, I have a list on my phone of ones that I thought of off the top of my head, uh, that I really remember enjoying, so let's just go through it. We'll start it off with, uh, Zetsu and No Tempest, great show if you haven't seen it, um, but I really dig this soundtrack because it's not, uh, like, probably the rest of them on this list are going to be. It's not very bombastic, um, which fits the nature of the show really well. Super duper relaxed, uh, very emotional, um, lots of strings, not a whole lot of percussion here. It's a rainy day type of soundtrack for sure. I just think it's a beautiful soundtrack, basically, like, some of the tracks on here are just absolute tearjerkers, like, even not in context. Uh, yeah, great soundtrack, also great show. Uh, moving on, we have... Pandora Hearts, one of my, if not my, favorite manga of all time, which, you know, fucking josh me all you will for it, but listen, okay, Pandora Hearts, the manga, is pretty damn good. The anime, kinda trash, but fortunately, Gave us a nice, uh, good Yuki Kajura soundtrack before she just kind of, uh, copy and paste here, reskinned all of her stuff, and it started sounding the same, but yeah, I, I really dig this soundtrack, there's a lot of, like, music box type, uh, stuff, it has a main theme, uh, that comes back. I always dig that kind of main theme in anime, a lot of anime doesn't really have that, it's just like, you know, here's these really cool tracks, but there's no, like, main theme, except for maybe, like, a specific character or whatever, but... Yeah, really good one. Read the manga, please. It's really good. Don't fucking joke me. Uh, next is a classic. I mean, how can you make a soundtrack list and not mention... Cowboy fucking Bebop. Like, it's probably the top of several people's lists. Um, this one really isn't, but I, uh, I love it still. <laughs> There's really not much more to say than that because Cowboy Bebop is Cowboy Bebop. Like, it's on a league of its own. Absolute cream of the crop. Yeah, I mean, if you've somehow never seen Cowboy Bebop or, like, even heard the intro, um, I mean, those few little opening bars just like, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da and you just, you know you're in for some, like, great shit. Um, next on our list, we have... Sengoku Basara, um, one of Hiroyuki Sawano's earliest, well, not earliest, but... During the middle of his soundtrack career, which I think he kind of peaked in, as you'll uh, probably garner from the rest of this list, because uh, honestly, he's my favorite anime composer of all time, and for good reason. He was really at his best during, like, the late 2000s to the early 2010s. Um, he cranked out some super good stuff in quick succession, and uh, Sengoku Basara was not one of those shows that just, like, you know, he kind of phoned it in for. Um, like some of the later stuff, and this is this is for all of the seasons, not just uh, not just the first season, like season one, season two, and the movie. Um, honestly, most of the best tracks are in season two and the movie, because like season one, he kind of was getting his feel for it, getting his feet wet a little bit. Um, season two, boom, came out swinging. The fucking villain theme in that thing, oh my god, dude, I shit bricks every time I hear it. It's just so fucking like. And then the movie just came in, and like every track was a fucking banger. Next up on the list. Attack on Titan is a balls to the wall, fucking crazy ass show. Who do you hire when you need a soundtrack that sounds like that? You get Hiroyuki fucking Solano because like this shit is insane. Like I used to listen to a lot of Hollywood soundtracks and I thought those were epic. Like and then I listened to the Attack on Titan soundtrack when I was like uh, like 14 or 15 <laughs> and I like shit my pants. I was like, how the how the fuck is Hollywood not like getting on this level, dude? Uh, Mika Kobayashi is an amazing vocalist that I wish she was utilized a little bit more for uh, 
dramatic range and not just the classic Sawano drop, but honestly, like, in this soundtrack, uh, the, I guess what could be called the main theme, even though it's spelled like a take on Titan in the <laughs> fucking track list, is just a, uh, absolutely stellar piece of music. Uh, next we have... Bakano, which is, uh my favorite anime of all time, so, yeah, and the soundtrack is no slouch either, because if the soundtrack isn't good, I'm probably not gonna make it my favorite anime of all time, so, if you haven't seen Bakano, please check it out, but it's set in the 30s, so, obviously, the music is snazzy and jazzy as all hell, uh, the main theme is just, it, it slaps, like, honestly, it's just so good, the, uh, you know, the quieter moments on the soundtrack are equally as good, after that, we have... Tekai Sensen, or Blood Blockade Battlefront, which is another one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, definitely my top five. Kind of falls in the same category as Bacchano. Um, it's not set in the 30s, but it's set in New York. Um, really jazzy, really um, cool, creative. It's got kind of this like heroic militant theme for the, the group of main characters when they all like band together. Um, some of the insert songs are super duper fun. Um, it's just an all-around like feel-good soundtrack. Even like the the filler the filler tracks, I guess you could call them, are just really really enjoyable to listen to. So, yeah, another great one. Gotcha Crowds. The first season soundtrack is just fucking spectacular. Like Taka Iwasaki, like he's kind of got it all. Cause like I was first introduced to him through this soundtrack. Um, and it's got like that very EDM dance, uh, really up-tempo type of like great stuff. And then there's also these like sweeping orchestral, like amazing, like blending with the EDM type shit. And it's just so good. Unbeatable Network like is like, I have it on my work playlist and like nobody bats an eye because it just fits in so well. Like nobody realizes they listen to some fucking weeb shit at work. Highly recommended. Taki Usaki is a god. Uh, next show or soundtrack or fucking whatever. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. That stupid ass, uh, Irregular at Magic High School. No idea what the Japanese name is. Don't give a shit. The show is terrible. The soundtrack is absolute fire. It's kind of the same thing as the Gotchman Proud soundtrack, a little bit more EDM. Um, this one has more of a trance influence though. Um, it's just like super chill at times. Uh, the track Miyuki is just amazing. Um, it's another one that would fit on my work playlist, but I don't have it on there because I'm dumb. Great ass soundtrack, stupid ass show. Uh, next we have more Hiroyuki Sawano. Um, one of his best works is definitely most diverse. Is Kill La Kill. This soundtrack is just like, complements the show perfectly because it's zany, it's bombastic, it's over the top. Uh, like, Honestly, there's not a lot wrong with it. Like, the filler tracks are just as entertaining as, like, the main set piece tracks. Um, the whole thing is just absolute fire. So, like, Hiroki Sawano just, like, took it to another level. Good stuff. Moving on. Uh, next we have a soundtrack by an Australian man. Um, Made in Abyss. Kevin Penkin. I had not heard of him before Made in Abyss. Um, and now I follow him on Twitter, so his shit is amazing. Uh, it's everything that, like, a fantasy adventure show needed, and, uh, I guess if you have to hire an Australian to do it, then I guess you go with the fucking Australian, because the dude is a god, like, so, so good. Uh, next we have more Taka Iwasaki. Whatever it's called, Quilidia Code, I think. Um, haven't seen the show. I watched like five minutes of the first episode, and I was like, "This is trash." And then I was like, "Oh, soundtrack by Taki Iwasaki. I'll download the soundtrack standalone and listen to it." Uh, good as fuck. Um, <laughs> last one I have on here uh, is my primary list. Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is a decent show. Um, the second season is slightly less than stellar. If you're a manga reader, it's apparently absolute Satan, so 
I don't know about that, but I do know that the soundtrack is uh, super duper fucking good. Yeah, I love the soundtrack to bits, and then the main the, the the main Tokyo Ghoul Symphony just fucking blew the walls off of my house the first time I listened to it. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say it's like a rip off of uh, that one fucking classical song, but honestly, I don't think it is. Like I've listened to the two of them side by side, and they do not fit at all. So uh, a few honorable mentions, just stuff that like has a few like really good standalone tracks, um, but. It just doesn't stick out in my memory quite as much. Uh, Noine, or Noine, or Noane, whatever it is, which is a really damn good show. Um, soundtrack is really great. It's got this, like, punchy uh, orchestral feel to it. It's really good. Um, also, Code Geass, kind of the same story as Noine, but it just, like, it's a little bit more, like, jarring almost. Like, it's just more crisp. Um, the only reason it doesn't really make it onto my list is because most of the tracks are like a minute and a half long and uh, doesn't really make for a very easy listen. But there's definitely some standouts, like The Master is a fucking sweet track. Uh, also more Kotaro Nakagawa, um, who also did Code Geass, 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 fucking whatever. Uh, Seven Ghosts, haven't seen the anime, read the manga, thought it was decent, saw the soundtrack was by Nakagawa. Had to listen to it. Pretty damn good. Um, again, nothing like super amazing, but still an uh, enjoyable listen. This has not really been a ranked list so far. Everything has kind of just been uh, a little bit free form, I guess. Uh, this one, however, is definitely my favorite of all time, and that is. Exorcist soundtrack. This is like peak Solano, and I mean like this shit is fucking amazing. Like when I first watched Blue Exorcist, like literally like within the first like 30 seconds of the show, the soundtrack is just like had me nutting in my pants because it was so fucking good. Um, immediately downloaded it, listened through the whole thing before I even finished the show. It's so good. Um, the song You and Cloud is still, like, one of my favorite tracks, like, one of my favorite songs ever. You know, the orchestral stuff is just fucking, like, blow your nuts off crazy. Uh, where the soundtrack really shines is, uh, in the, what would be considered filler tracks, um, which are just as listenable, um, if not more listenable to than the standout, like, really punchy tracks. Honestly, just a fucking, like, it's the best. Like, what can I say? It's my favorite fucking soundtrack of all time, like. Yeah, anyway, that's this, uh, little list. Um, as I'm recording this, it's 20 minutes long, so we're gonna try and condense the condense it down in editing and make it not 20 minutes long because nobody wants to fucking listen to me for 20 minutes talk about weeb music anyway yeah that's uh some suggestions for you if you like good music check it all out if you don't then you're dumb so i might fucking die because there's a big ass hurricane coming so who the fuck knows um anyway if uh i'm not dead and blown over um then i guess i'll see you guys in the next video